Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, as viewers here know online, I've been criticizing the Denver Broncos. I believe they're fool's gold. <clears throat> I question everything about the team, notably the defense. Big problem. Also, the quarterback, Peyton Manning, great quarterback in the regular season, career-wise, has a losing record in the playoffs, right? No team would know Peyton Manning better than the Indianapolis Colts, and yet... When Peyton Manning played the Colts, a game Manning lost, the Colts actually opened up the roof because they had questions about Peyton Manning's arm strength, right? And as I like to say here online, the running backs aren't exactly Jim Brown and Adrian Peterson. You're talking about no Sean Moreno. You're talking about Monty Ball. Think about it. With an offense this loaded, a passing offense, where Peyton Manning is on pace to set the record for the most touchdowns in a year. No Sean Moreno is still averaging less than 4.5 yards a carry. Right? That Bronco talent is a little bit thin outside of quarterback and wide receiver. Well, their loss yesterday is big news. Understand that if the New England Patriots win their remaining games, and these are games on the road against Miami, a in-division opponent they know well, on the road at Baltimore, and that's the game I think Patriot fans should circle because that could be a battle. And then at home against a familiar divisional foe, Buffalo, then the New England Patriots would be the one seed in the AFC. Denver now has lost pole position for the one seed, right? Understand, as I make this video, right now there's a three-way tie. New England, Denver, and Kansas City, right? If New England and KC are able to win this weekend. All of the teams would be 11-3. and three. New England actually beat Denver earlier in the season. You remember that overtime game, right? You remember a game where Peyton Manning was held to 132 passing yards, right? By the way, in fairness to Sean Moreno, the... Uh, Broncos rushed for 280 yards in that game. But New England beat Denver. They would have the tiebreaker on Denver if the two teams finished with the same record, 13-3. and three. Also, New England has the tiebreaker on Kansas City due to a better in-conference record against the AFC. So, double-check my math on this. You want to look at all angles and figure this one out. But there's a possibility that New England gets the one seed, and then you have to ask yourself, can Peyton Manning do better against the Patriots in New England, in the playoffs, than he did the last time these two teams played? Doesn't Bill Belichick, at a minimum, already have a defensive formula to slow down this Denver Bronco attack? Right? If Denver just lost the number one seed in the AFC, haven't they just lost their best chance to get to the Super Bowl? Let me also say this, too. Yesterday was the second time this season that Denver played the San Diego Chargers, right? Now, there's no way to sugarcoat yesterday's loss. First of all, the loss took place in Denver, right? 
on their home field. Second, the Chargers held Denver for the first time all year to less than 20 first downs, right? Did you know that yesterday Denver had a net of 18 rushing yards? In other words, this is a different way to beat Denver than New England beat Denver earlier in the year. In that game, New England stopped Peyton Manning. Let Denver run all over them. Right? Yesterday's game's the opposite. Yesterday's game, Manning passed for 277 net yards. San Diego stopped Denver's rushing game. Let me also point out, too, Denver's defense. How bad is it? Did you know that they gave up 177 rushing yards yesterday? If you think that's unusual, did you know that in the last two months, in seven of the eight games, Denver has given up at least 110 rushing yards? The defense is leaky, folks. It's Friday, December 13th. There isn't a lot of time to fix it. Right, Denver only has two more games left in the season before the playoffs. And now, they might have lost the pole position, home field advantage, in the playoffs. And I know there are Kansas City Chiefs fans watching this video who right now are saying, hey, forget the one seed. Is Denver even going to win the AFC West? Because understand, the Chiefs are tied with them right now. Just food for thought, right? Denver beat the Chiefs twice, right? But just understand that Denver cannot afford any more slip-ups. Denver's last two games are on the road. They play beatable teams. They play the Houston Texans in Houston. Let's consider that a win, right? But before we move quickly, understand that there are different dynamics in the sport. The Texans have a new coach. We don't know how the team's going to respond to that. The last game of the season is on the road against the Oakland Raiders. I'm just here to tell you this McCloin quarterback, former Penn State quarterback that the Raiders have, has that team playing inspired football. I'm not saying either the Texans or the Raiders beat the Broncos, but my point to you is the Broncos are going to have to play both of those games because the teams are nipping on their heels for both the one seed in the AFC as well as the divisional league. And should Denver lose the division to Kansas City? Let's say Denver loses one of these two games and Kansas City runs the table. Then you're talking about Denver without a bye in the playoffs, right? Having to play every game. And let's just say we know right now that Denver could use a bye week because Denver, simply put, is not playing their best football. Let me hear from you. It wasn't so long ago, by the way, that Denver was averaging 39 points a game. Yesterday, they scored 20. Yesterday, they had fewer first downs than that. Give me your take on what's happening in the AFC. Yesterday's game easily is one of the most important games played in the AFC this year. Let me know your thoughts on Denver. Are they the cream of the AFC? Do you believe Denver, if they're not the one seed, if they're the two seed, can go into New England and beat New England? Also, for those of you who believe New England season's over because Rob Gronkowski is out, have you been looking at Shane Vereen's numbers? Is there a better pass-catching running back than Shane Vereen? Isn't he working with exactly the kind of quarterback who can make adjustments and make Vereen the red zone threat? 
that Rob Gronkowski was. Also, what film are teams going to be able to look at? Kembrough, Tompkins, he's been out, right? Aaron Dobson's been out in the playoffs, especially with a bye week. The Patriots might show up fully healthy, you know, at least with a lot of offensive weapons returning, and might look on to feel vastly different than they look right now without these guys, right? Isn't the season breaking in Tom Brady's direction? And hasn't New England already beaten Denver? Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.